check it out. <laughs> Everybody know by now that Donald Trump is the president elect of the United States. Everybody knows that by now. Uh, and everybody also should know if they don't, they should know that you know, he had coming in, he's going to have a House majority and a Senate majority of Republicans. So, and the Supreme Court is stacked with uh, conservatives. My personal opinion is that judges should have no party affiliation or anything like that or ideology or anything like that. They should be totally impartial. And if they're not, they shouldn't let anybody know that they're not. But anyway, Donald Trump is going to come into office with all that on his side with a stacked team. Now, here's what, here's, here's what may or may not happen. No, I ain't going to say may not. Here's what's going to happen. And I'm saying this because I know a lot of people are afraid and nervous and apprehensive and they think that uh, minorities are going to catch hell, Jews are going to catch hell, Hispanics, minority, black people are going to catch hell, Jews are going to catch hell, Hispanics, or anybody who's not white is going to have a hard time over the next four years under this government. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It ain't going to be easy. But here's a couple of points I want to. I want everybody to uh, to uh, be aware of. Point number one: It's going to make black people. I don't care about Hispanics. I don't care about Jew, Jews, white Jews. I don't care about anybody else except black people right now. It's going to make black people or should make black people come together and unify and realize what a lot of us in the conscious community and a lot of us have been saying all along. We need to divorce these motherfuckers. Ideologically, economically, politically. And with the coming of Donald Trump, that should happen. We should... We should be, have more reason to unify than ever. I'm talking about all of us. I'm talking about everywhere from the most bougie ass black person all the way down to the so called thug on the street corner. We should all put black people first. That's what we should do. And that's what this Donald Trump presidency has a good chance of making us do. That's point number one. And point number two. You got a whole bunch of motherfucking white boys so eager to take out their revenge or take out their so-called revenge on us for having this black president until they're going to be falling all over themselves trying to fuck everybody over. And all they're going to do is fuck themselves over. They're going to fuck it up. They're going to fuck it up and they're going to fuck it up early and royally. They're going to fuck it up. I haven't seen a bunch of white boys get together and do some really nasty shit where they and 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 all they wind up doing is shooting themselves in the fucking foot. And I believe that that's what's gonna happen with this. I really believe that they're gonna fuck it all up. So a lot of the worration and fear that a lot of us black folk are feeling is kinda it it, it, it it's kinda overblown. But we, we should unite. We have to unite. And this is a perfect opportunity to unite. But I also believe that them white boys with all the cards in their favor, with the deck stack, are going to fuck it up. Their egos are going to get in the way. Uh, their money, conflicts of interest, all that shit is going to cause them to really fuck it up. Economically, they're going to fuck up the economy again, just like they did under George Bush. Militarily, they're going to waste billions of dollars because what did what did uh, Rumsfeld say we can't track three trillion dollars three with a t t trillion with a T they couldn't they can't track they can't find I lost track of three tr trillion dollars and he wants to build up the military 
Again, uh, Donald Trump does. Yeah, they're going to fuck it all up. They're going to fuck it up so bad until they ain't never going to get in power again. Or at least another generation. So that's point number two. Those two points. There's an opportunity for us to unite and form a real community. Like the ones we had before integration. And you're giving white boys too much credit for having too much talent. It ain't like that. It ain't like that at all. It's like I always say. I'd use a quick football analogy. Everybody always talk about how good the quarterback is. Because the quarterback, nine times out of ten, is a white boy. So everybody keeping all that praise on him like he's this motherfucker. But the receiver is the one that's got to catch the fucking ball. The receiver is the one, to me, the receiver's job is just as hard, if not harder, than the fucking quarterback. But he don't get he don't get nearly the credit that the quarterback does. Because more often than not, the receiver is black and the quarterback is white. So, the white boy get the credit and the brother, the white boy got the motherfucking brains and the brother got the talent. That's what, that's what everybody thinks. You see? So I, I, I just, I think that everything gonna be all right. I think that in the long run, it's gonna make us stronger as a people, especially here in this, uh, in this corporation called the United States. So having said that, I think people should just Screw their head on straight. Do like I've been telling them to do. Focus. Refocus. Buy black. Think black. Stop celebrating cracker holidays. Stop going to cracker stores. Kick the motherfucking Arabs out your motherfucking corner, out your motherfucking neighborhood. Stop buying Chinese food. I had some bitch today. I gotta, I gotta say this before I, before I sign off. This, see, the brainwashing is so thorough until people do do shit without even thinking about it. I said to her, a lady uh, across from me was talking, I don't give me some Chinese food today. I think I want me some wine times or something. And I just threw it out there. I said, you know what? How come you never hear Chinese people ordering soul food? And she looked at me with this puzzled fucking look on her face. Check it out though. I was dead ass serious. When you ever see a motherfucking Chinese dude, an Asian dude, go up into a motherfucking house where they barbecuing ribs and shit with a plate of motherfucking collard greens in the front of them. I'll wait. Exactly. So that kind of shit has to stop. I ain't telling motherfuckers don't eat Chinese food, but you should have to drive a little ways to go get that shit. You should, or, or black people should own the Chinese restaurant. Fuck, we can make pizza. We can make Chinese food because it ain't, it ain't nothing but shrimp, rice, MSG, and food coloring. That's all the shit is. We could do that. But anyway, I'm getting I'm getting off topic here. Don't worry about Trump and the boys. Sit back and watch these motherfuckers fuck this all up. Anyway, that's all I got for today. TC, I'm out.